only a world government can secure and maintain world peace, for as long as there are many governments, there will be rivalries and war wars among them. This is the argument. In this argument, the term government is used in two distinct senses. Initially, it refers to a singular global governing body, implying that only such an entity can achieve world peace. However, in the latter part of the argument, government is used to describe multiple individual governing entities. This equivocation in the usage of the term government introduces a logical flow. By shifting the meaning of the term, the argument falsely assumes that the existence of many governments inevitably leads to rivalries and wars among them. This oversimplification overlooks alternative methods of achieving peace and disregards the complexity of interna international relationships. Relations. So, what misleading conclusion this argument can bring us? A possible misleading conclusion that can be drawn from the analyzed argument is, and this is the misleading conclusion, since many governments inevitably lead to rivalries and wars, the establishment of a world government is the only solution to achieve world peace. This conclusion fails to consider alternative means of promoting peace, such as diplomacy, international cooperation, tre tre treaties, and alliances among multiple governments. By accepting the argument's equivocation, the conclusion overlooks other potential avenues for fostering peaceful co coexistence among nations.